Welcome back to our next segment here on ETV Extra. Thank you for clicking in today at ETV Sportsnet at GoETVTigers.com. Now joined by Justin Felicia, a member of the ETVU Tiger basketball team. And, and Justin, I, I know uh, losing on Saturday in the Elite Eight was not the way your Tigers wanted to finish, but what a great season that the whole team has had. And just kind of, just kind of, if you can, kind of put it in perspective as a player, what this whole season meant to you. Of course, being a senior, last time to play for the Tigers. Uh, it's been a, uh, it's been amazing. Uh, Everything about it was, was it couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, the flight, we flew to Wisconsin, uh, that was a lot of fun. That was the first time we flew since I've been here. And uh, I mean, we you know all the bigger schools flying and stuff, and so then when we got the chance to fly, and then I got to be with my team and the coaches and everybody that supported us came, and uh, that was that was fun. Uh, meant to be in the national tournament. That, I mean, that's what we play basketball. That's what we work so hard for is to be in the, on the big stage like that. In this week's 16 game, you beat Northwestern 70-46, to but in the league game, you lost to Wisconsin Stevens Point 45-28. to But i got to commend the defense of the Tigers in that ball game. You held them 20 points below their season average. How tough was it playing against their defense out there? Uh, their de like you said, it was a defensive game. Um, we, we, I mean, we held them to 45, and we still lost. Uh, if you hold somebody to 45, you would think that it'd be you should win. But I mean, their defense was outstanding. Uh, the the physicality to that game was is is, is amazing. Uh, I know people seen seen how physical it was, but to actually be on the court and to uh, to feel it, like they would, I would go I would go screen, and they would push me uh, three feet the other way. I couldn't even go screen uh, a cut. Every time I tried to cut, they would, they would bump bump you, and it was the most physical game I've ever played in, in my career, probably. But the great thing is, you were at the Elite Eight playing basketball, college basketball, NCAA Division Three. I want to talk about a little bit about the trip and some of the things that, that the team got to experience. Yes, your main focus was to go and play basketball, but I know as a coaching staff, they wanted you to experience being in Wisconsin, a different state. What, what was one of the most impressive sights that you saw away from the basketball court during your time in Stevens Point, Wisconsin? Um, me and Jamil were blown away by the lakes being froze over. Uh, we we were uh, we we were flying oh, flying in and uh, he said next to me on the plane and he said is that is that a frozen lake and I said if I had to guess I would say so and then when we when we got on the ground and we were driving by uh, all the bodies of water and the fact that it it, it it was it was cold two weeks ago and it it was still frozen like two weeks later it, has, it hasn't been that cold and they said and it was still frozen uh, and that, I thought that was that was crazy. The, our bus driver for the trip was, was Marty Huss from Lammers Bus Company up there, and he made a comment to Coach West about the ice still being on. He goes, you got to remember something. In Texas, you, married, you measure ice by the inches. Up here, we measure it by feet. Yeah. So two weeks after the cold weather, there's ice still in the rivers up there on the ponds, and snow still pushed away on the parking lots, piles of snow, which is I thought was kind of unusual. Yeah, that was that was pretty uh, neat when we pulled into a Target or something, I think, and uh, it was obviously they pushed the uh, snow into one part of the parking lot. Uh, so the people could park or whatever. And it was, I mean, like you said, it was a pile of snow. What about the uh, trip to the hockey rink? I know Jamil said that uh, he had never seen a hockey rink before, yeah. and you actually got to go in where Stephen Points plays. What about that experience? Uh, I've, been to, I've been to a couple of hockey games, uh, and I've, I've seen, I mean, my, my, uh, my stepdad is a big uh, Red Wings fan, Detroit Red Wings, so we watch hockey. And, I mean, it was cool to, to see a rink, but, I mean, I've, I've been there before, so. I just thought the, uh, the icing on the uh, lakes was amazing. Visiting with Justin Felicia, member of this year's e Tiger basketball team, who finished the season at the Elite Eight site in Stevens Points, Wisconsin, hosted by the University of Wisconsin at Stevens Point. And the way it worked out for the Tigers to get home on Sunday is that the NCAA chartered an airplane for the Tigers to fly back home, and they flew from a, a place, an airport about 30 minutes away from the team hotel, and landed at the Marshall Airport. Yes, the Marshall Airport. When I texted people about your arrival, they'd say, Marshall? And I said, yes, landing at the Marshall Airport. So the Tigers get on a charter flight back home. How was the flight? I know it was only two hours and 15 minutes. It was a short trip. It was It was a lot of fun. Uh, we were all blown away by getting on a, a, we all called it a private plane for us because it was just our crew on there. Um, 
And then uh, once we finally got comfortable flying, it, we, uh, we all moved around and uh, we got together on the, on the plane and started uh, like just messing around, freestyling and stuff. We were just having fun. And then uh, coach, coach found out it was amazing how uh, when we got on there, we left the first seat for him at the second seat for Coach Prather and everybody else just filled in uh, how we would sit on the bus. And uh, he thought that was he thought that was the funniest part. I'm sure he'll tell you about it. He thought it was the funniest part of the trip. Uh, we are creatures of habit. Yeah. Now, when you landed at the Marshall Airport, there was some group there to, to, to welcome you back home. How did that feel to you as a student athlete, seeing people from your school, people from the community, greeting you as you came back home after playing in the Elite Eight? Yeah, that, that, was, that was awesome. We got off the plane, and uh, we had the uh, baseball team there. Then the softball team came. And then... Uh, just a couple of uh, other people that have been supporting us through uh, through the season and uh, made signs. And it it was a lot of fun. And uh, I really appreciate everybody that supported us this season. Last question, Justin. What do you think that you will take away from this season as you go on in life and graduate from ETBU? The bond that uh, this team had, everybody. I've never been close so close with a group of, uh, group of guys on my team. And then the, the bond just with the coaches and with everybody. Uh, that's that's why we did so good this season is because of the bond we had. Uh, Coach mentioned uh, in one of our meet one of our many meetings we have. He said that uh, there's probably an uh, an individual out there that's better than one of our, our best player on our team, whoever it is. But there's not a better core group of guys. And um, Coach said that. If we would have had more time to prepare for it, for the Stevens Point game, that he would he would take us to win the national ring. I mean, like our our team is 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 amazing. The bond that we have. Well, Justin, thank you for the time you spent on the court for ETU Tigers, and looking forward to you graduating. And uh, congratulations on the great season, 26 and six on the year, finished 25th in the national poll. If they do a final poll, I think y'all will edge up just a little bit, which would be a good memory to have. Justin, yeah. thank you for your time all year, all season, and, and being you. our guest here on ETV Extra. Thank well, coming up next on ETV Extra, we will talk with the head coach of the Tiger basketball team, Burt West. We're going to kill our microphones for just a few seconds as we bring Coach West in, and come, and then we'll bring me back up and talk with Coach West and continue to talk about the Tiger basketball season. You're listening to ETV Extra live from CC's Pizza in Marshall, Texas.